Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you easy things you can do to make your boring chords. Sound a lot more interesting. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So right here, we have a VST using Lounge Lizard. It doesn't matter. It could be piano, guitar. It doesn't matter. The VST, all right? So I'm just going to come right here, right? All right, so now we're going to make this sound a lot more interesting by doing a few things that are really not very technical, they are very easy to understand. So let's get started. But first, I'm going to duplicate this so that we can revert to the before and after. I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'm going to turn this off for now. So this is going to be our, what we're going to um, make it sound a lot more exciting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our root notes for each chord. This, these are the root notes for the chords, all right? And we're going to make a double, all right? It could be on the lower octave or it could be on the higher octave. So let's take this to the lower octave and see how it sounds. Now you can see this adds some bass to it and make it sound a lot more heavier than the original, all right? So the next we're going to do is called chord inversions, all right? Which simply means taking this upper notes, all right, to take them to be below the root key or the root notes of each chord, all right? So this is going to say it could be any one of them. It could be both of them. It could be two of them, right? Let's try one of them, for example, and see how it sounds. Let's do the other one as well. Do it for basically all of them, and then see how it sounds. Now, you don't always have to bring the root key like we did the first time all the way down. Sometimes it could even be all the way up if you want to add more um, brightness to your chords. But let's leave it down here. I think I prefer it down here. I like it sounding heavy. All right, so now it's already sounded a bit more interesting, but we're not done yet, okay? So the next we're going to do is we're going to move the groove a bit, all right? So instead of it just sounding just simple and straight, there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes you want to spice up the groove of your chords. How about we do something like this? We reduce this, all right? And then we'll bring this here and then reduce the length. Let's see how it sounds. So the fourth thing you can do to make your chords more interesting is using a suspended chord. For example, this chord right here, especially when you're trying to connect from a chord to another chord, or maybe you have a break like we have right here that is leading to the next chord, you can use a suspended chord to make it a bit more exciting. So let's see how that works. So suspended chord simply means, you know, your basic trials is simply this, this, this. So you have the suspended two chord and the suspended fourth chord. So the suspended two chord means you take the second note of your chord, right? And then bring it down here, all right? And if you suspended four chord, you simply take it up here, all right? So, so let's see which sounds better, the two or the four. So this is the two. And let's see how the fourth sounds. listen again both sound fine actually but i think i'll go with the suspended two chord and you, yeah you can also retain this um break right here you don't need to take it out Right, so the fifth thing you can do is playing with the velocity and the timing of the chords, make it sound more realistic. Now you can see this, if you look at the velocity right here, everything is just on a straight flat line. And what you can do to make it sound more realistic, there are two things you can do. You can either do it manually or you can use the alternate S feature on um, uh, in FL Studio to make it sound a bit more realistic, all right? But it's going to sound like it's been strummed. So let's see how it sounds. Now let's play with the velocity. Let's reduce the velocity. But 
but I don't want that strumming feel, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold my alternate, all right? You can do this manually by selecting and reducing the value, but when you hold alternate, all right, you can actually reduce the velocity of the chords. So I reduce this. Reduce this some more. You can see how soft it's sounding now. And of course, you holding shift, I can play with the time in a little bit. Right? And you can see how loud this is. I'm going to do it for all of them and, and then we'll see how it sounds. Right, so now let's see how it all sounds together. And you can see it sounds really soft and really pleasant, all right? So now let's compare this to our original triads and this. So this is our normal chord. And now these are our wicked chords. So which do you prefer? Do you prefer the basic, boring chords or the wicked, exciting chords? If you found this helpful, follow me for more tips and tricks. I remember Sir Classy and this is SC Toots. See you soon. Cheers.